My name is Harold Vaughn, and boy, am I excited about this new book, Approaching God, Biblical Protocols for Prayer. You know, every environment you enter requires a protocol. A protocol is simply the proper way or the necessary procedure to address people and situations. Soldiers employ a protocol when saluting their commanding officers. Dignity is essential when addressing dignitaries. Royalty requires a protocol. The way you are greet people at Walmart is different from the way you would address the Queen of England. So what is the protocol for approaching God? The purpose of these videos is to equip believers and congregations with the biblical directives on how to approach God in prayer. And the Bible is very clear giving guidelines on the correct way to approach God, the correct way to enter the presence of God. A protocol in prayer is simply doing the right thing in the right way at the right time. And employing these biblical protocols for prayer pleases God and opens access to the throne of grace. We've got to draw near to God according to the manner that he himself has prescribed. I believe the prayer culture in your church can be changed by using one of these protocols on a weekly basis. Engaging your prayer meeting attendees or small group members or young people in the youth group in these simple exercises can revolutionize your church. Now the book contains 18 scriptural protocols and we're producing videos at this point for 10 of these protocols. You can supply a copy of Approaching God's Throne for every person who attends. They can prepare by reading the designated chapter prior to your prayer time. The reflections and applications at the end of every chapter are excellent discussion starters. And this could be the means to revolutionize, revitalize, and rescue a stale prayer meeting. You know, the early church didn't have a prayer meeting. It was a prayer meeting. 120 people gathered together in that upper room and they prayed for 10 days. Every member in the early church was a prayer meeting Christian. They waited, they wept, and they worshiped, and they watched the fire fall from heaven. And I believe the lack of holy fire in churches today indicates the need to return to the upper room type praying in this generation. Now, the Lord didn't leave us in the dark on the subject of how to come before him in prayer. And these biblical protocols will bless your heavenly father's heart and strengthen you in the process. Following these protocols could be the means to initiate revival on a personal and a corporate scale. We must move away from a problem-based prayer time to a God-focused prayer time. And implementing these biblical protocols can be a game changer in your church. The disciples asked Jesus, Lord, teach us to pray. And I believe that we, the followers of Christ in these latter days, should cry out in the same manner, Lord, teach us to pray. Instruct us from your word by your spirit on how to approach you in prayer. Amen. As you utilize these protocols on a weekly basis, I believe it can be a means to absolutely bring revival to the hearts of your people, yourself, and your church. God bless you as we take this journey together.